So, welcome back, guys. We are going to be jumping in with I Am Gaming up against Deserto. That'll be on the way in just a minute. They are just getting the knife out of the way. I do believe it will be on Crash, which, well, Deserto have informed us is not their best map. In and so many words, yeah, I think yeah, that's what like they said. <laughs> they basically told us to tell you guys at home that they're sorry for what you're about to see. But <laughs> there is added pressure. As you all know, normally I'm not casting with this one because he's doing games with fairies and wizards, like Wingardium Leviosa. And I'm casting with Machine, but he's playing in this game. So we can judge him thoroughly and uh, see how he does. Obviously, Crash, we've seen it before. We saw a couple of very good teams playing with the likes of Leonidas doing very well. Mark uh, and even Jensen, to an extent, did very well with the SMG. And that's what I want to be seeing. Um, I basically, you know, <laughs> they, they came to us before going, how the hell can we do well on uh, Crash? And I went, if you don't do well, blame your SMGs because they're the ones getting locked out or naded. So just, you know, focus on that. And we'll see how that goes down. And let's have a little bit of a roster rundown for you guys. So for Deserto, you do have Aiden, Quirks, Kyle, Machine, and Luke. And then over on the defensive side, which will be I Am Gaming, I do believe that will be Stu's or Chris, Fraz, Blackout, and Dupes. So these guys have been playing this game for obscene amounts of time. They've actually stayed together for a fair bit of time as well. So these are two... Pretty rare thing. Exactly. Books. It's, you know, obviously you've got the likes of Phantasmagoria, who are kind of a very good mixed team, a glorified mixed team, let's say, of various players who've kind Mediocre of played the same... Player. Hey, I'm just, just going by Tech Nine. Mediocre. I'm just Ow. going by Tech Nine articles. They've dropped into mediocrity. Oh, yes. The the bridesmaid of Call of Duty Four. Yeah, is. that's never ideal, is it? Probably. <laughs> it's never actually winning a land yet. Um, I think Mark has reigned in you know, about fourth place for the last God knows how long. But um, nevertheless, these guys have been around the scene for a while. The Certo, obviously, um, a completely UK team, just you know, doing really well. They've come up with some great online results. They do need to bring it to land, obviously. And this is a big one for them. It didn't go well for them before at the previous Epic Land. Just they got, you know, dropped down to the lower brackets, which was unfortunate. But then they came up against what was the um, apex side then, which was Mark, Leonidas, and other such people. So they had a bit of a tough time, but these guys are great at what they do. Do not get me wrong. They, they're very uh, talented players, and I want to see what they can do here. And obviously, I, I've seen them a couple of times before, but this is a different stage, and obviously they've had their practice, and hopefully they can kind of apply what they've learned online against these guys. Because I know I'm gaming a really after this one as well. They're a yeah. UK team who've never quite shone. So this could be an event for them. I mean, this is the last group stage match as well for both teams. So they they've had all their playing, they've all their practice, and they're really settled in. They're used to each other after having however long apart. So I think, as you say, mixed teams. The scene's not as big as it is. The tournaments aren't quite there as much. So you're not getting yeah. the regular play that you would do at a more consistent competitive games at the moment. You start across the Legends. So they're they're as good as they're going to be at this stage in the tournament right now. Give it all they've got. Two of the uh, two of the favourites to go through far in the tournament. See what we yeah. Definitely. It's, it's basically who's going to be the ones coming up against Phantasm Glory in this game. And it's, it's a game you have to watch because Fan, they're looking good. They're, they're veterans. I don't think they've quite had you know that serious game. And these uh, one of these two teams will be the one to provide that. Obviously, you can see uh, I am gaming there on your screen. That's uh, likes of Dupes and Co. And I do believe we are about to go live. And we will be having the uh, Deserto side up on attack. So they'll be bringing the fire and as, as much pressure as they can to the I am gaming side who will be on the defensive. And on a map like Crash, y you know, you're expected to do a little bit better on defense just because obviously the clock's on your side, positions and such. But you can always cause a bit of havoc on the attack. So, thank you. Why don't you take us into the first round here? Yeah, we do see coming on. The tags coming out straight away down to Aiden and Carl, but not quite down yet. Stuzo gets tagged up with an SMG fight, and it looks like a Deserto taking that one direction straight down towards the B-bomb oh. site. Kyle, Dear. first one dropped. Couple up here on top. Hardware Luke, however, is going hunting. Finds the scope, drops him before he can even spin around. But there's another one in there. Doesn't quite catch it. Just tags going down. They are all over this B-bomb site now. Both squads, in fact. Good positioning from IEM. Two drop, one out. 3v4. Luke still attack. Slow down a little bit. Machine's got the bomb. Doesn't want to peek too hard, though. Stu's off getting away with his life as the scope comes around the corner. Still 3v4. Shots going out left, right, and center, but still no one quite landing that money shot. There we go. QWR's down. Luke's tagged up again. Tags up Stu's all down, but the bomb's down on B, and it's now all on IEM to make these plays, to get this bomb defused. Three members of DeSoto still up. Couple on uh, hardware. One up top. You can be heard. Dropped machine from behind. Fraz picks him up. Fakes out a defuse. Waits for next DeSoto response. It's Aiden coming and B long. Oh. Picked off. He and didn't Fraz. have to play it like that. That was that was half handed. It was. Yeah. It was a bit oh god, I heard noise run Explosive run at him. Yeah. And it didn't work out no. well. You can you can see on his face there, he's clearly Rookie not happy mistake. with that. He'd, 
he needs to calm down. I know it's Lan, and I know it's a bit of a pressure situation, but you've got to be able to kind of take every situation in the best way possible. And he just he rushed that one. It was a bit slap dash. And if you slowed down, thought, okay, there's two alive. One's going to push me. One's going to go for the fuse. If I challenge too early, this can happen. But nevertheless, Dupes is going to spam straight through to Blue. Nothing yet connecting. Oh, Quirks knew he was going to go for the double peek there, but doesn't quite land it from Blue. Chris Nevis has found the nade onto Luke. So I'm gaming with the early advantage. But Desoto have made the way into lower A here. You can see Carl now leaping through, takes down France, pushing further up towards LA bombsite. But here comes the fire from Chris. Once again, standing tall and proud, denying anyone from his A house. So, nevertheless, you can see DeSoto is still heading here. They are not stopping. This is their worst map, but they're very kind of focused. But uh, would it be a case of blinkers here rather than actually playing Smart Machine is tagged up. I believe it was by Lara. Great position once again from Chris. Peeking out from Wood in towards Key. Looking for that frag. Not going to come in yet. The fire now coming in from Blue from that AK fire. Let's see who's actually pushing now. I think it's Quirks just peering around with that deagle to hand. Curiously, a scope goes so aggressive in RA like this when he knows there's still a player here. I think he was going to try and challenge a scope. Lang Machine to hop up and over towards the back. Did he just fail that jump? I think I he think did. He did oh yeah. dear. Aiden has found Chris nevertheless, but there we go. Dupes does deny Machine, punishing him for such a god awful jump he just did. This works will try and get up. Not going to happen. Blackout locking down that doorway, leaving it all in Aiden's hands. But can he hold down this time? Can he not bottle it? Here we go. Laying down the fire towards Sandbag. Let's get. Not even a tag, and Dupes is not going to miss that one. The machine, you can see all over their faces. They look defeated already. They need to get their heads back in this game because it's a, it's you know they're not even down that much. You know they're down two rounds. It's it's not impossible to come back from. They just need to get heads back in this game. Is it? And they're on the attacking side. The attacking side. Exactly. It's notoriously harder. That's the point of it. It's not that easy one. You can't get yeah. that foothold. You've got to be the one to pushing, making those plays. They are not out yet. They are now into the A side very very quickly. The SMD is doing that job exactly as you mentioned before. If they're doing bad on this map, it's an SMG's fault. They're getting naded out. They're getting locked out. This time, however, Kyle's in. He's got this A-bomb site. He's got to clear out the back side of it, and then they'll have it locked down. He's also got the rest of his coming in, but Fraz is dropped down in the back garden. Going to go down in bottom half as well. Another, however, remember, of IM is out there. Dupes and Stu's are last ones left up. Five-man Deserto squad still on the hunt. Still looking for that last frag. In bottom hardware, that bomb should be going down at any second. There it is. Dupes just toying with them, trying to stay up. Can I get one frag for his team? Does pick up Aiden, picks up the AK very quickly. Looks towards the backside of eight, but he's dropped from mid machine. Got that covered. Yeah, once they actually locked down eight, got inside it, you know, got the bomb in. That's what you got to do. Go back to basics. You don't have to overly rush things. You have to keep switching up every round. Things like that, going back down to literally, you know, your bread and butter of Call of Duty. They win you the rounds, and that's what worked. They worked how to get into A and not die early on, and things like that are not going to help out. Fraz has already picked up that nade onto Kyle. Works fine in Stuzor, keeping it all even, but there we go. Dupes has taken away in favor to IM Gaming. Four to three, but Luke is still looking towards that A bomb. But you can see the presence there for IM Gaming, but Machine has none of it. Takes down Fraz. Even in that 3v3 situation, edging further closer, the uh, Gaming boys are even closing in themselves onto this side. It's all going to go down in A. So Luke peering around, looking for that frag, looking for that opening pick. But you can see the crossfire is literally just hammered into this doorway. Will he find it in time? Peeking around. Check his corners, he does do that perfectly. Taking down Blackout now, getting himself further forward into A. Get your, <laughs> oh wow. I was about to say get your eyes trained on Wooden, but he didn't need to. He just got those reflexes on lock, and Quirkson will find dupes. And this is the Deserto we know and love. Nice aggressive work, good clever team play, getting that bomb side, and just working it like you should. I'm Gaming need to lock down A now. They've got to find their way to kind of reply to how the likes of Deserto have adapted. And as you said, 2 nil down is not impossible to come back from. They've just done that. 2-2. Two, two. They've got to have that confidence back with them now. They've got the momentum. Two rounds on the shot. Going to pick up that third and take themselves the lead. Luke heading straight towards A again by that FPS jump. We'll get over it. Show Machine exactly how it's done. Coming in the backside, though. Gets tagged up from Wooden. Not quite going up the stairs yet. Gunfire coming down from top of the stairs as well. They are all around. He's back out in towards the chopper. Still hears him on Wooden. No, they're nearby. They've got him. He's found Chris before Chris finds him. Fraz taken out in backside quickly. Nice little bit of movement. Got that SMG in hand. Dupes fails a jump across up towards the roof. Looking over A site. But we do see IAM closing in. They know this is where Deserto want to go. It's only Dupes left now, though. Oh, he couldn't nice even tags, the shot. but couldn't do it. Not enough final power there beside him. And I'm surprised that I'm Gaming haven't tried to switch line up here. They know exactly what Deserto are doing, and they're just not responding at the moment. But let's uh, pick it up with Quirks. We haven't really seen this guy too much so far. I want to see what he's doing early round. He is trying to challenge a scope on B long, but Dupes hasn't watched that once, I don't believe. He's actually been looking towards blue the vast majority of the time. 
But let's see uh, what's going on. Here we go. The uh, Finally, there's a bit of life coming out from the I'm in ga I'm, I'm Gaming side, but it's too little too late. Luke and Carl picking up some lovely set of frags here as Machine and Aiden joining on the fun, leaving only Fraz alive. And where is he? Very lonely, but in a great position. 1v3. Can he get the hand trick of frags here? He get his team back into the lead now. Tags coming in. They know exactly where he is, and he's literally in a house of cardboard. You want to start either getting these frags or getting the hell out of there. He's done that, and well, Luke was there, ready to catch him. So, 4 is a scoreline and a Deserto for a game, you know, for this map, this was their worst. They're not doing too, too badly. Yeah, they're still on attack too, so they've got to switch it up and go defense soon. I mean, it could argue be that they're even worse on defense, but we are yet to be entirely sure. But the way they're playing this is perfect right now, so that's not entirely true. Kyle tagged up as heavily as he can be. Gets the regen back on through. Luke's coming in the back. Hey, gets dropped very quickly by a pair of IM players. Perez is now watching that FPS jump. Kyle down bottom eight. Does see one run up the stairs. Doesn't quite man the tag. Gets tagged through the wall himself. Bottom wooden is still there. Fraz banging through that wall. Jen's waiting for it. Kyle still at bottom eight. Now has support from the bomb man. I'm waiting. Let the smoke settle. And I think no, there's ones around. They're going to go check on the stairs. Prone's his way in. Does find one. They're tagged up heavy. Doesn't actually oh land a shot himself, no. though. Has to get back on there. Chris tagged up heavy. Quicks it. Dropped from outside. Machine's down here with an AK with him. Kyle going out towards FPS. Prez back in the garden. Playing it very defensive. I am just keeping their positions locked down. They're not being crazy aggressive. They're not poking. They're letting Deserto make these moves. Forcing Deserto to make these moves. And punishing them every time they do. Nice kill onto Fraz by Machine. He's going to rotate around towards B by the looks of it. Going through hardware. Jumping back the other way. Chris finishes off Carl. All on this one man. He's already picked up one. He's got to go four man to finish it off. Does find one over the top there. <laughs> Immediately backs on out of there. There's a man on the bomb. And he's going to lock him out. Yeah, my co-casting little buddy there of uh, yesteryear not quite finishing his meal there. But no, he is doing fairly well. 3-3 three, three is not you know, on a negative scoreline yet, but as soon as he gets there, we will highlight it to you, folks. Do not fear. So, looking at the scoreboard, obviously Luke doing very well. Let's have a little follow of Luke. I don't think we've seen too much of him yet. Let's see where he's at. Here we go. He's been uh, really, he's been pushing A very well. Look how far back the uh, I am gaming side are being held so far. Those nades, those flashes are working for Deserto. This really keeping them at bay, but they're not being confident enough to actually push with it. You can see that they're actually scared of this map. The tags are now flying towards mid. Carl and Aiden rack up the frags onto Chris and Dupes. But will Luke spot the player just beyond the corner? No, it's blackout out of nowhere. Picks up the frag machine, quickly revenges. Leaving it in a 3v2 situation. Deserto up by a player, but well, Quirks is taking it even further away. Now it's all in Stuzor's hands. Picks up one. Look at the last two, though. Machine and Quirks to find. I believe the scope is still alive as well. Yeah, he is back A, so that could be a big issue for uh, Stuzor. But never something towards him. I think he's expecting the scope to still be up and kind of peeking like that, rather than picking up the SMG and obviously locking down back A. It's a bit of a situation you can never expect. But now makes his way towards this lower A. Spamming, spamming out, trying to find a... Yeah, hiding in a corner, and he found one, but it wasn't what he wanted there. As Quirks will land that uh, nice SMG fire, and take that scoreline to five to three. So Deserto on the attacking side, relatively unfavoured, and they're doing very well out of it. Carl's got a great mid spawn here. I'm wondering if he's actually willing to use it. We're about to find out. I mean, it's good play from Deserto too. They lost that little bit of momentum after losing that third round, making it four three, but they immediately respond, picking up a fifth one and getting straight back on their feet. Didn't let it get them down. Kyle did get dropped as he's trying to run down that mid side. Good snipe from Duke takes down Aiden as well. Still looking at Luke out, pushing in the back of eight. Gets dropped by Chris through the smoke. Deserto quicks it. Looking down B long. He's got a couple of dies down there. Looking top hardware. Can't quite see anyone yet, though. He's been tagged up heavy himself. Luigi comes in. The machine and quicks it down. Saw them do it last round. Can they do it again? Machine's been tagged up. Shots going down from Archie's one on Wooden. He knows he's there. All banging through, trying to catch someone out. Not quite landing anything from either of them yet. They've got five to find. And they have the bomb. Can they? put it down. Can they set themselves up in a position where they force IM to make the move? Not quite yet. Machine's still tagged up. Lots of fire coming through to him. There's now five people hunting him down. It's not coming through from the arches. Tags him, grabs him, picks him up, but he's immediately responded with a revenge kill by Stuzot. And it's five to four. This game is sticking very close. Yeah, I am gaming again back back into this one. And uh, the likes of Blackout working really well with the AK fire through mid. He got that early frag onto Luke, who tried to push down by Broken. The smokes weren't quite right. And that's what's holding back to Soto sometimes, just that versatility. They can go, okay, guys, we're doing a hell of a lot. Let's switch up to mid now. That is not quite so fluid at the moment. But here we go. I'm gaming are kicking things off in the right direction for themselves. Blackout and Chris picking up a frag there. Maybe only Quirks, uh, Machine, and Luke alive still edging in towards A, but you can see the presence from the Iron Game side in mid. They're already pushing up and now allowing Chris to peek out of Laurie, pick up the frag onto Machine. Luke now trying to pick up the mantle, pushing in. 
Leaning around, but Franz is there laying in wait, and it's all on Quirk, so where is he? He is stuck on Crash with the bomb and an AK, but is that enough to pull him through this one? No, it's not. Five to five, folks. It's all even here. And what a game we're being treated to. These are the two teams that can really challenge the likes of Phantasm Aguirre if they could get their minds to it. You know what I mean? It's not going to be an easy, easy game for these guys. No, by no means. But they've got the potential there to do it, and it's nice seeing them so closely fought at the moment. Yeah, and as we said, we said it before, we said it again, Deserto on the attacking side here on a map that they claim is their weakest are keeping it level. 5-5 five, five is a good score for an attacking team. The two more rounds left to go. Ideally for IM, they're going to pick both of them up, take it 7-5 into attack phase. Mm. But Deserto are looking strong. Yep. They have been a little bit shaky these last two rounds. IM started to figure them out a little bit, but there's still plenty more they can do to change it up, and they are doing just that in this very game. So we'll see whether it works. If they can get six rounds out of the first half, that will set them up oh. very nicely. Kyle with a cheeky leap around that corner onto Stuzo. Chris is dropped at the same time by Aiden, but Blackout immediately returns one. Quick set goes in. He doesn't seem to like using his scope here. He's just oh taking people out with eagles and then gun. stealing guns. Dupes at last man standing. He's on the roof he's been on all game long. He's had a couple of nice picks from here, but can he defend both bomb sites against three people? Smoke goes out on the bottom of A. Tries a wall bang through. Bomb has been taken to A site, but other than that, he's completely surrounded. AK shots come out. Machine drops him. And there's that sixth round of Serto wanted. There's still a chance they can take this 7-5, to five, and they will be in the best possible position they could ask for going into the defending side. But I am not to be counted out yet. Probably going to have a couple yeah. of sleeves up, uh, cards up their sleeve. I mean, one thing we saw the uh, earlier teams doing was on the defensive side, using their SMGs in a very offensive fashion, running straight yeah. through the middle into that blue. Haven't seen that from IEM yet, but to Serto, Luke's gone straight in, into hardware, takes down one on the roof, immediately left with two members of IEM, but their own two and Serto left too. Straight for 2v2, and the bomb's heading down B long. Is this that mix-up from Serto? Two Luke's in this game now, just realised that. <laughs> <Overlay> <laughs> Little bit of overlay bug, yeah, Aiden is still an Aiden. Aiden. He's trying to rotate around, actually back towards A. Luke's going to cover the cross across from B. In there, mid-A, we did see him leaping up. Aiden must have heard it and seen it too. Creeping on round. Dupes probably up on his roof again, keeping the watch out. You can see it on the minimap. Chris is in back A, starting to look towards that B rotate boss, but Aiden's got the bomb in A sight. Just behind their little steps. Now they're going to hear a nice shot from Dubes, wherever that was, dropping Luke the moment he revealed himself. Oh, oh executed. Six and six, great first half. Yeah, and I think Dubes actually got a four-man possibly there, and I think it was either three or four, and that's put him <laughs> second on the scoreboard. So he wasn't really doing too well prior to that moment, but he really did step up in that last round and kept it even. But obviously with Iron Gaming now on the attacking side, They've got to really focus up and kind of drill things down. Otherwise, they're going to really just fall by the wayside. And you can't allow Deserto to get into it like that. They're such a confidence-based team. They're a young bunch of lads. When they get their minds in the right places, it switches on. And they can really handle their stuff. But obviously, this is the first map. And the second map can really kind of show who's going to come out the better in the uh, bigger games. But right now, we're going to go live, live, live into this one. It's all even so far. But, well, someone's got to break away and win this map. Let's find out who. So... Little look at the uh, front spawns for the attacking side, both either focused towards mid or B, I can imagine, or at least I hope. Franz leading the charge with Chris not too far behind. Dropping up those nades towards mid, waiting for the smoke to plume in the way. But look at the aggressive smoke coming from um, Serto here. I'd expect to push if I was the uh, IM Gaming side and maybe sit back a touch and play a bit slower, but, well, I'm clearly not because Chris is charging on forward. There are a couple of players pushed forward from the Deserto boys, but it's not enough to keep Chris back. He's going to lay down the fire, but Aiden gets the better of him, opening things up in the right direction for you, Deserto fans. As Suzo will even things on the scoreboard. Four against four. I am gaming aren't really gaining much ground, but it doesn't matter. They're picking off Deserto left, right, and center. are peeking out so much. Machine picks a one and the second. Great play from my little old co-caster co buddy. But is it enough to keep him in this one? So here comes Franz. In towards A he goes. Does get the tag, but not the frag onto Luke. He's just disappeared up towards that A bomb. Gonna look out towards that balcony. It's all between him and Stuzor. That is it. They don't have the bomb, which is gonna be a massive hindrance to them if they actually do crack A. Even though there's two players there, it's not gonna be to much use without those explosives beside them. So Fraz now peering around. He does get the frag onto Luke. Opening things up now with only two still standing. We do have the scope though for Deserto still alive. Is he watching the cro Oh, he's just caught a glimpse of Stuzor, I can imagine, with that bomb getting further forward. And I think they've just worked out exactly where they're going, and I think it's just going to be watching that cross exactly that. And let's see if Quicks can actually hit the shot, because it will signal to the machine that obviously the incoming troops are there, but it's not an easy shot to hit. Oh, he's lost his nerve. He may have missed the cross just due to that point. 
seeing them focus. I believe they are on the bomb site. Indeed, they are Machine and uh, Stuza are in a bit of a Mexican standoff here. Literally centimeters apart. Here comes Machine peeking out at the right time. Does get one. And there we go. Basically, time out. No time to get this in now unless, uh, obviously, one of these guys dies stupid to the other. That's not going to happen. And well, I am getting played that a little bit too slowly almost. They, they left it to the very last second. They could have gone in a lot quicker there. They, they almost waited too long. A machine as well. I'm surprised he stayed back so long. You know, he, he was really cautious there. He didn't peek down at all. I was going to say, it almost wasn't played properly by Deserto either. They took a yeah. lot of free hits there. Took a lot of players peeking and dying when they really didn't need to. They're the defensive side now. They don't need to be looking for these frags. They're just waiting for them to walk straight into them. So yeah. they need to do it a little bit differently now. Machine calling a timeout, so we'll get that at the end of this round. But at the moment, still five players left up on either side. Looking back eight. This is a bit better from Deserto. They're not peeking now. They're just waiting for those options. I mean, I am doing the same, but they're forced to move. They've only got a minute to make this work. Chris does get dropped with the bomb. Immediate response. Fraz tries to leap over and pick up the revenge kill, but he's answered. Stuzel does take down scope off glitch roof. B long still being watched blackout now. Bottom A. He knows there's two guys out the back there. They've picked off two of his teammates already. I know where the scope is. We'll watch it. Scope it down. Does see one in the corner. Gets a couple of tags on the one the bottom, mate. Two of them. Oh. oh, brilliant deagle plate. Still one more to find, though. I mean, he switches weapons back out. Reloads. Still only got dupes with him. Still three members of Deserto up. Dupes, the last man standing now. That'd be one machine called uh, timeout. 2v1, technically, then. Machine's not there. Dupes on the bomb site. Jingles it. Waits for a response. Shots come through the floor. Alarm goes down. This one's real. He's going to get complete. He's looking for the two. Luke and Aiden's response. Luke finishes him as he hits the bottom of the stairs. The fuse is going to go through. So I'm, and I'm quite curious as to what's happening with Machine there. Everyone looks in good spirits. Maybe he's broken a mouse or <laughs> you know, a mouse went out of sheer rage. Or maybe they're having a little tactical talk about this one. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, headset's coming off. He's having mad. A bit of a chat here. He looks a little bit mad. Let's have a little look at what they're saying and what they're doing. Oh, he's getting up and uh, is it a team talk time, I think. Maybe just trying to fix something. Let's see how this one's going. He's back down. He's, he, he's down. done. That's what he, he just wanted to stand up for a bit, is uh, what's happened Legs clearly. Legs a bit sore. That's yeah, what I've heard I think they're actually having a bit of a team talk. You can see them all headsets off, just chatting it away, trying to find out what's going on here. Um, all right. I think they're all ready, pretty much. They look uh, ready to go. Deep they're the old mind games. Exactly. It they can are be. sitting exactly opposite each other. You can't quite see it, thanks to these cameras. But, yeah, they are on the Literally, same row yeah. of seats. Yeah. Their PCs backing onto each other. There you there go. You go. <laughs> now you can, can see, see it. They are literally there. centimeters away from each other. But uh, obviously, there is. If you did play Call of Duty back in the day, I say the day. It was only a couple of, you know, maybe a year ago. But the older Nexus timeout. They called timeouts at critical points in games because it just threw people off. You always start playing those mind games and stuff, going. Well, we've mentioned time and time again the momentum. People getting round after round after round. Yep. You don't have to win a round to stop that. Just call a timeout. Make exactly. them stop playing for two, three minutes. That's enough. But it's curious, though, because the defensive side Had them were win. in the lead. So I'm kind of curious as to what's happened, Machine, there. Is, uh, I'm not sure if everything is sorted. Still not quite ready to come back in. We have a little chat with Just them in team chat. Something. Oh, no, they're ready. So whatever was the issue, it's clearly sorted now. Machine's uh, got the headset on, ready to go. And we're going to go back into this one with the scoreline. 6-8 to eight in favour to the defensive side, which is Deserto. Now, Fraz straight down into that little alleyway. Lobs out first tack, mate. Waits again for the return nades. Gets a tag down onto Kyle, but nothing too serious. Deserto starting to lock down that A sign now. Getting into positions they want to be. Waiting for those peaks. Blackout's been tagged. Two members of Deserto are down. Raz making it down B long. There's a guy right on the other side of the wall. Hasn't spotted him though. Machine's still staring into the floor. Maybe it's not fixed. Fred's up on top hardware. There's a guy mm. down in the long right next to him, but he doesn't seem to notice this. Shots on out. Yeah, he's going to get him in the back and he spots it. It does finish him off. It is Machine. Fred's in a great position now. Forced to rotate. Or not even force. I am just mm, stroll on around there. There's only two members to settle up. They know for a fact Kyle is at eight. Seen that before. Not sure where the last one is. It is Luke and he's no longer alive. Kyle, 1v5. He's got to go big or go home. Go home is a response. Time to go home. Oh, another timeout. Stu's will call it this time. Right, let's see what's going on here. Whatever it is, good sportsmanship. Definitely a mouse problem looking at that. Look at it. Oh, he is angry. 
Alex Mouse. Yeah, he's, he's, I think he's showing us his mouse problem so far. Uh, I think they're just sorting things out at the moment, guys. I'll leave you with a uh, bit of a show of it all. That's what you get for playing left-handed. Is the story here? You play left-handed on mice, yeah, you, you deserve things to be broken. So uh, once they sort themselves out, they'll be back in this one. I'm gaming, get a little bit of a break as well, and just get to chill out, maybe review what's going on. They say, oh, you know, they're still fairly, you know, it's, it's a very close score line, and you want to get something that can edge you further away. But don't know what is going down with this lot. What is it up to, Alex? Fix it. Indeed, I'm shoutcasting well. Okay. Shoutcaster, my uh, old shoutcaster friend. You say he's an ex-caster. He Casters should be used to technical issues. Well, no, no, we we make we make the issues and then trust the technical guys to fix it. Fair point. There's a lot of these people. You don't see them, but they are there. I assure you. Just kind of like on their faces, yeah, exactly. It? Mainly when you make really bad comments about <laughs> really inappropriate things. I don't know what you mean. I talking about a sniper. Putting something where he shouldn't. Just sticking his head up. Definitely shouldn't have stuck his head where he shouldn't. I, d I just don't know what to say to you anymore, Miss Fancast. <laughs> See, this is why we don't trust you normally. I don't know how they trust you in League of Legends, but nevertheless, we are still waiting for these guys to sort themselves out. It's going to be a little bit of a time ahead just while they're kind of sorting out the technical issues. You can see Alex there just pressing buttons, looking dashing with his very muscular arms. You can see Rolling his, his sleeves up a bit exactly more. He's just, oh, look, at, look at me, I'm down the chair. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going <laughs> to... I'll go to a quick break so you don't have to hear us talking about Alex and his biceps. And we'll be back momentarily as soon as this is fixed because, well, technical issues are technical issues. So, welcome back, guys. We are just uh, finishing off the last bits and pieces here. It was an issue with Alex's mouse disconnecting and reconnecting, and uh, he's been flexing on camera to impress the ladies, apparently. Apparently so, yeah. Yep. But it may have worked, as we are going to go back live in this. I'm not sure what they're going to intend to do if it's not fixed, but hopefully we just kind of get into it and see how it goes down. And uh, DeSerto are in the lead, but a mid with only one round, really. So they, they need to kind of be really getting their minds in the right places here to keep this going. With a break like that, Machine's concentration is going to be pretty much... Oh, oh. beautiful oh. shot from Quixer down onto Blackout. Wow. Straight through Blue. Chris, however, responds. Oh, Deuce. Shuts him down as soon as he lands on Glitch Root. Kyle playing very aggressive now, making his way towards Blue. I mean, we mentioned before how they were just sitting back, waiting for the picks to happen. Now, Kyle's going hunting. Oh. There's a guy in here with him. He needs to look to his left. Look to you. There we go. Picks it off. Tags up top side as well. Let's do Tags but no frag. Zerto has been very aggressive. Seems a locked in base with the bomb. Dupes up here too. Down by uh, Broken Wall is one member of Deserto. Not coming much further up this way though. Machine. Down bottom hardware. Has a guy nearby. He knows he is. He's heard him. Luke in the sniper. Dupes gets one shot off. Doesn't quite land. Unscope. Just more of a fear factor than anything else. Luke with his SMG doesn't want to poke that. He has no reason to. As long as he can keep him in that position, it's going to be good. Friends, coming back up. Be long now to support his team. The bomb is here. A couple of shots going off. There's still Deserto members in bottom here. Luke does pick up that kill. Suzo, however, immediately responds once he sees him. Car drops dupes as he makes him rotate towards A, and there's two members of Deserto now left. Suzo has 20 seconds to get in, plant the bomb, or kill both these members. He knows Kyle's in here. He's just dropped a teammate, and he knows Machine's over towards B, but he's going to be rotating around very soon. Not going to happen. You can't back into a stairwell. <laughs> Kyle's there. No, very true. Waiting behind you. It's a little bit creepy, isn't it? Standing there, just breathing down your neck a little bit. Creepy stuff. Like, like, like throwing Lucasade in, in people's face. No Creepy. one threw Lucasade in people's face. It was thrown, but nevertheless. <laughs> we are still this one, guys. The defensive side are up a good couple of rounds now. And that will be DeSerto. So the arm game side need to get themselves back in this one. Well, Black Ops got a frag, but it was my own teammate. It was not ideal, was it? Not He's on ideal. chopper now. He was trying. It didn't go quite. Trying's well. the main thing. Can we give him all certificates for taking part? No. And, a, and no. a warm gummy bear. No. If that's what you call it these days. Anyway, <laughs> so we do see finally the Iron Gaming side landing a frag there. It does take down Machine, leaving four standing to a mere three of Iron Gaming as they do edge towards that a bomb site. But you see how far back that bomb is. They're really not committing here in any way, shape, or form. Blackout dropping out that smoke towards back A. Blooming in the way a little bit, trying to distract what might be happening. 
So if they're going to peer out the fine enough comes from what you can see, it's just going straight through mid above Blackout's head towards his dear teammates. And it is Luke dropping that down, but it's Quixer who does land the shot there onto Dupes, his opposing scope really chipping away at the IM game side. And another shot lands, it's all on Chris and not for long. Aiden will find that one. And excuse my awful camera work, I missed all of that, but you know, it's a long day. It's a hot got sweaty Lucas in your eyes. I got Lucas Aiden in my eyes, so. What can you do? <laughs> but guys, the defensive side are slowly but surely taking this one away. And that will be Deserto feeling pretty good about this, considering it's one of their worst maps. Self-proclaimed worst maps. Maybe it was all mind games. They've been saying all day, they knew they were playing IAM and Crash. They've been saying all day, ah, Crash is our worst map. Crash is our worst map. Maybe not. Machine dropped instantly there as IAM make the push down towards B. Coming down B long, there's four of them here. Straight up on top of hardware. Aiden does find Chris because he didn't quite check those corners properly. Picking up Sousa as well as the second frag. Dupes does drop Aiden very quickly there. Blackout picks up Kyle as he tries to rotate from eight. Just watching this mid side, but they have to rotate across now. Luke dropped the bomb planter. Blackout drops Luke though. 2v1 in flavor of IM. Frads, I didn't say flavor. Picks up one. Quick set. Oh, beautiful double D frags. Just round out that 11th round into Zerto's favor. Yeah, well, he really had some flavour to that round as he uh, did pick up a beautiful frag there. So let's see uh, what Iron Game can do. They are definitely on the back foot here. They've got to step something up and find something deep down. And Dupes is finding that, taking down Aiden with a great shot, cracking in half of the Cerdo side. But well, there comes the nade in retort from Machine, landing perfectly at the feet of Chris. Allowing further pushes from the Deserto boys if they feel like it. But look at this A site stacked with the Deserto players. And Luke dropping down Franz like it's absolutely nothing. Now, Quicksa ever further forward. Kyle now very much. Uh, Peeking out of A, there's only three up against it. The likes of Blackout, Dupes, and Stoozle. Let's see where these guys are. Luke has found Blackout before even I could. As Zeus has to spring into action now. Peering out towards that mid of Crash. Going to look towards the keep. Can't see anybody. He knows he's in there. He always oh, got a glimpse again. Stoozle laying down the fire, but it's not enough. There's still three more players by the one you're looking at, guys. Don't be so focused because that happens. Quicks it comes around from B-Long, takes down Dupes, and now just going in for seconds. Can he find Stoozer in due time? No, Carl's going to sweep that one from under his feet. And Deserto have got to be feeling confident now. They were worried going into this one. They were, you know, it, it got to them, the pressure of saying we're bad at this. You could see on their faces, but... Especially after going two rounds down in the first opening rounds. 13-7, okay, this is first to 25, not per round, but that's got to be a good feeling once you know you've won what is supposedly your box, uh, your worst map. Yep. Going into the next one, you don't have quite so many rounds to pick up. They already wow. have two members of I am left. Machine's still standing, five up. Machine's tagged up, he's low, he knows there's a guy there. Can't quite finish him off. Quick, so it grabs him out instead, though, and they do get an ace and a perfect round. 7-13, to 13, the map's theirs. So you've got to get as many rounds as possible now. Exactly that. They, they can't stop now. It's, it's, it is hard for people who generally play, you know, MR12 to, once you get that 13 round, your mind's like, oh, we're done now. Why, why are we still playing? But this is <laughs> first to 25, basically. So they've got to keep going. Oh. And Luke with a beautiful plus 10 nade, taking down Blackout and Fraz, and really pushing further forward onto that B-Long area. He does tag one and does get the frag on Stuzo. Can he find it? I'll find any more. He's a one-man army right now, folks. And he is carrying them all the way almost as Dupes will finally take down his Reign of Terror and shut down the remaining threat. But well, it's all on Dupes now. 1v4. I don't think he can even do this, but let's find out. Dropping out the nade just before hardware. He knows there's a player by Link. Can he get there in due time? No, the nade landed a little bit early. As here we go, sprinting our way down to that B-Long area and trying to get that bomb down. Drawing out the players. Trying to find any easy frag, and none of these frags are going to be easy with the machine prone down, holding the angle. They're not risking it. They had four players to the good against one, and he still held it. Very disciplined, very well played from machine there. Normally, it's easy just to rush out and peek. They uh, held it perfectly. You'll be nervous. There's four of us. I'll just run, and oh, God, I'm dead. Oh, God, you're yeah. dead. And Oh. Everyone. Before you know it. Yeah. So oh! oh. Picking up another huge nade for Deserto. Blackout falling with Stuzo all this time instead of Fraz. Chris immediately dropping Carlo in response as he makes his way up towards a mid-level. Two members of IM in there. They've got the bomb and it should get planted pretty soon. Dupes dropped though. Aiden flanking around the backside. Oh, there goes the bomb. But a very quick double frag for Deserto. Aiden wow. with one, Quixel with the other. Means that bomb will not stay planted for long. No, indeed. And Deserto again to the start of things. As I said, a very confidence-based team. Once they get that kind of wind in their sails, Explosive. they can kind of start running away with it. And that's exactly what they're doing now. Exactly. Now. Look at that. And that's the important thing. They, you know, these guys are friends. You do play the same teams every now and then. And obviously, you do get to know them. And 
it's an incestuous community. We've all been in the same Sonic teams with each other about a million times, just shuffled up a bit. But these guys are all good friends, so this is a great game to see here as they are, you know, one of the better British teams. Oh! Wow, again, another great lineup shot there from Quirksa. Taking down Stools straight off the bat as Aiden will follow up onto France. So massive advantage to the Surter, and look at them just closing in now. Luke on the Prout once again, up B-Long does pick the frag onto Deuce, but Aiden found another in the meantime. Now it's all on Chris, and well, bullets to the back. Luke will find that one, taking the score line to 716. And Deserto are definitely in the swing of things right now. I am need to pick up these next couple of rounds. They've yep. got to get to 25. They've got to get as many they can out of this before going into the next round. We're going to oh. go through vetoes before we decide what the next one ends up being. But it's going to be a tough job nonetheless. And then, of course, we're going to have to knife round for this side. Yep. If they don't win that knife round, getting the side they want, getting those early rounds in the next map is going to be even harder. Dupes dropped. Dupes and Sousa for a last two left up. Doesn't get a nice frag. Quicksort immediately drops Sousa after he picks that one up, though. Dupes got four to find. Making his way down B long very loud. Not going to get very Not far. too subtle with that. And uh, I love Aiden's push there. He went straight up mid into key and just sat there, pushed even further forward into the arches and just dropped him through mid. Very clever play from him. But there's your first map, guys. It was Crash 7-17. to 17, So a massive advantage to the uh, DeSerto boys going forward. So they will have to uh, veto towards that next map. Let me just draw it right down the scoreline. And we'll be going forward and finding out what the hell they are intending to do now and which map they're actually deciding to go on. And I'm quite curious as to... What map would suit I am gaming because tell a life of dating. Good point. I could do maths. Seven plus seven. Are you sure? Twenty four. I don't think you can do maths. We don't trust I you. Don't do math. Go back to playing bad games. Anyway, <laughs> back in this one, we do see the uh, the I am games. They're great players. The likes of Deuce working really well. I'd like to see that maybe on Crossfire or something like such because he was really pulling them along. But Deuce wasn't bad either. That's the thing. These guys were very good. You just kind of got to break that confidence of Deserto. Once you kind of stop them being you know that jolly kind of happy-go-lucky uh, One Direction of Call of Duty Four. You've actually got a chance there, but until you do that, these guys will just run absolutely rampant. But as soon as you drop them down, you kind of work them player by player, you've got a chance there. But getting to that point, it's not going to be easy. I think uh, the Iron Gaming guys are just going to have to work that one out and try and sit there and go, OK, what map can we really work to our strengths on? It's just to look comfortable now. This was their worst map. So going forward, they clearly seem like, well, we'll, we'll be fine from now on. Just put blue tack underneath the machine's mouse. That also would work. Would cruel, work. cruel man. But guys, we are going to go to a quick break just while these guys sort themselves out and get into that next map. And uh, we'll be back momentarily. <laughs> 